Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. With this loading screen right here, we begin the countdown to the final league of team of the season, and that is Syria team of the season. We have some leagues, we have that loading screen, and we have some news to talk about related to the last team of the season league that we are going to be getting. We know some of the players, and it's looking kind of good. We're getting a lot of those big-name players in packs that we would expect, but also some of the SBCs that we have leaked as well make me pretty excited for this final week of Team of the Season. Now, today we're actually going to learn the first part about this with the objectives, right? We'll talk about Thursday content today, including some of our last chances to get XP to add up our XP for the season tot season swap. So we'll take a look at that and, of course, everything going on with League One Team of the Season and some of those card prices moving into today on Thursday, today's video. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's look back at yesterday because yesterday was, of course, our flashback day and the League One Guarantee Tots SBC. Starting off with that Guarantee Tots SBC coming in at about, what, 90K, according to Footbin. A little bit cheaper than what we maybe thought it was going to be. But if you think about it again, there are a lot of really cheap cards in this League One team of the season team. And prices actually yesterday on those cards were impacted and they went even lower because of it but this one of course everybody goes and does i mean i'll be honest guys yesterday i think i saw more nuno menge i saw more Verratti, marquinhos i got very lucky myself and somehow packed ben yetter right uh the very first one that i opened yesterday of course was on my account and the fact that i got ben yetter was really crazy right and you know a lot of those middle to high tier cards as expected have risen. Ben Yedder's like 700,000 coins now. Jonathan David went up. Lacazette went up. We saw that fluctuation that we kind of expected to see on these cards. Uh, but again, the pack weight, I think, was a little bit better than what we expected yesterday, right? It felt like it was more, uh, they were giving out a little bit more than La Liga for sure. Verratti's 330k now. He was like 290, 280 for a little bit yesterday, right at the content drop. So there was that little bit of panic. And now those cards are rising. We'll talk a little bit more about these prices uh, a little bit later. But yesterday, of course, fodder was the big, big talking point with that SBC being released as well. 85s going crazy. They went from, what, 8,000 coins to start today, 7.9K. And these guys were all max price. Some of these 85s have max price ranges of 12K. Some of them were at 15,000 coins. If you take a look, a lot of the cheapest 85s in the game right now are actually in forms. And the reason for that is because yesterday we had the refresh of the 81 plus uh, team of the week tradable pack as well. That SBC refreshed. So people were crafting that because it's not that expensive. And that supplied a lot of those in forms on the market that were 81 plus, specifically the 85s, 86s, maybe 87s as well. That's why some of your 85 in forms are the cheapest cards on the market right now. But also because some of your 85s are just flat out extinct because their price ranges um, are, are crazy, crazy high. So if you have any 85s in the club, I would get them out. Uh, you can see Carrasco right now has no cards on the market. He's extinct, right, for an 85 rated card. So if you have those, I would get them out. I mean, if they're any 85s, if you have any in the club that are not extinct um, for some higher price range on some of those gold cards, they could go a bit higher today at content, of course, with the refresh, kind of the last chance of some of those SBCs. But then I would definitely want to sell those before we have more lightning rounds, stuff like that this weekend. Now, you look at 85s at like 12, 13K, and then you see like 88s at 14,000 coins. And it's pretty crazy, right? That is crazy. The 85s are so high, but it's because they were required inside of the League One TOTS upgrade. Now, also, yesterday we had the awesome Awar SBC. And um, it's a little bit underwhelming, guys. I mean, if you take a look at the footpin, uh, the way the price has moved on a tall and other links to this card, if you take a look at the footpin upvote, downvote, High low work rates is the big bummer with this card. Four star, four star, just it's just mid, right? That's the best way to describe it, just kind of mid. I mean, some people have said that he's really, really good in game. He's got great trades. I'm sure he's going to be pretty solid. Great stats on the card. Just maybe not as insane as we would have wanted him to be, and he doesn't have uh, the best work rates for his position or the five-star skill moves or the weak foot. But nonetheless, 150,000 coins, not bad to do. But the Atal investment, GG's, if you sold into the hype, which is what we talked about uh, with that card, uh, if you risked it, I mean, we, we needed an SBC to be absolutely insane for this card to go up 
with the awar coming out and it has gone back up a little bit this a tall car was down to like 40,000 coins even below 40k from where he was he went from like 60k down to 37 or 38 and it's now back up to about 44 because people are still doing that sbc but that's the why we take the safe route and we sell into the hype with some of these cards and uh some of the investments like that that we know are very very invested in so yesterday as well we had another ea mistake and this is a really big talking point uh from yesterday the mistakes have been so consistent right in yesterday's video we talked about kind of the whole objective thing with the foot champs qualification like the playoffs extra awards how that's messed up the extra red player picks guys we are still waiting on that compensation i'll say it once again we're probably gonna have to wait a number of days if not a week or beyond before we get those compensation red team of the season player picks from league one it's gonna be a hot minute but also yesterday ea tweeted about this is a really crazy situation it's rare that we have stuff like this happen they had an incorrect description in the German language of FIFA for the TOTS Elite Pack, the 500k pack. It was updated today to specify five player picks were loan items. But if you had the German language um, and we're playing the FIFA in the German language when this pack was out before this update happened, you got five one of three TOTS or TOTS moments player picks. And uh, man, like look at some of these guys, bro. Modric, Bellingham, some of these guys had really, really crazy sets of player picks. Messi, Medina, Benyetta, Vran. It's absolutely wild seeing some of these tweets on Twitter, like people responding to what they got from those compensation player picks. So um, I don't think there's any more that are glitched out there. Some people are saying that the Polish language was glitched, but I'd imagine that EA kind of would fix that all in one spread. And I think it's probably not a glitch anymore. It has been updated. So that was sort of a crazy thing. Um, and if you saw 92 plus picks out there, that's what that was about. But it did not impact that many people. Now, let's get into the meat of today's video. We're looking forward to Serie A Team of the season and we got that loading screen yesterday which we did mention in yesterday's video wednesday's kind of the new loading screen days right and this is what it showed us uh it's really not hard to decipher who is on this loading screen right you've got of course kavicha all the way over there you've got in the middle dibala we believe and i'll talk about why in a second and then you've got on the right a rafael leal with five star skill moves which w right i mean what else is there to say that means kavara donut is going to be five star five star it's a little concerning to me that we don't have any skill move or weak foot designation on the dibala because i was really hoping that maybe we get a five star skill move dibala or maybe a five star weak foot that'd be really really nice he's had a what was it a foot birthday card a couple years ago five star weak foot um that would have been a really nice upgrade for his card because he's always lacking in that department but that's nice right we can kind of tell this is some people are like nate is this actually dibala we'll look at the leaks and we will confirm that it is Dybala. And why would else would they want to put a guy like Correa or uh, uh, Lautaro Martinez on a loading screen? Lautaro Martinez is always a striker as well. Really feeling like that is Dybala. So let's take a look at some of the leaks that we do have. Speaking of Lautaro, again, these leaks are coming from the FIFA U Team's account. Guys, this account has been spot on. Hasn't missed a thing in a couple of weeks. Uh, maybe like the Nesta SBC, but that was a lot of leakers that missed that one. And uh, they've been really consistent and really early with a lot of these teams of the season leaks even earlier than foot sheriff foot sheriff has not posted a thing yet for syria team of the season leaks um he's got lautaro and rafael leal but lautaro is not the loading screen player he is not a moments card um i believe he was in the mo the voting as well for the league one or sorry for the syria team of the season those are expected hopefully a lautaro's card is really really cracked um i would be down for a big time lautaro card and team of the season for syria um moving on we've got the dibala right this league was posted after the loading screen i think people know that dibala is going to be that player from the loading screen because um you know lautaro's cards are always striker and dibala's are center forward so that's why we're thinking that and you'll see why it's not correa here in just a second but that is what we believe to be dibala he's getting a moments card by the way so kind of like a renato-esque player getting a moment really good player selection so far as we keep going through the leaks rabio that's going to be a really really insane card i mean i'm sure a lot of you guys did his foot birthday sbc i hope they keep at least some sort of an upgraded weak foot on the rabio um, at least four star five star carrying over to this would be amazing Rabio's card was really, really good when I used it for a bit. And Malinkovic Savage, this card's going to be an absolute tank, and he's going to be cheap. I'm feeling Seiko Fofana type vibes here, where this card's probably going to be like 50, 60, 70K, really, really cheap. Not the easiest to link, right? And as you take a look at some of these cards again, you know, you see a lot of different nationalities. 
and a lot of different clubs. It's not going to be the easiest team to link, but you know, neither was this League One team this season. Um, apart from all the French players, you know, it's it's not that easy to link Serie A cards unless you're using a lot of Serie A cards in your team, which is a little bit one of the detracting parts about Serie A team this season. It's less linkable even than League One for sure. Um, but still, some really, really good cards in here. And as we're going to see, there might be some ways that EA give us more content to link these cards together. But as I look at these cards too, I just have to say, and I feel like it's going to be this case again, I think these cards are going to be really cheap. I think they're going to be really juiced and have really great stats. Serie A cards have been really juiced so far this year already. Um, I cannot wait for this Osman right now. This card's not going to be cheap. Osman, Kavicha, they're not going to be cheap. These are going to be more of the expensive cards. But if you take a look at some of those guys like the Rabio, like the uh, Milinkovic Savage, maybe even like Valtaro, I feel like these guys will be pretty, um, I guess, price friendly. You think a guy like Valtaro is going to be more than Ben Yedder? I, he shouldn't be, hopefully, but it also depends on pack code and stuff like that. But Osman, obviously a card we wanted to see this year. His highest card is the inform, his third inform that he's got. Um, and I'm so excited to see the boost that he gets because that could be an absolutely mental card. And then Kavicha, of course, on the loading screen, going to be five star, five star. That's going to be a card so many people would like to try in there as well. So those are all the player leaks that we have right now. There's probably going to be more today. And like I said, Foot Sheriff has not been posting anything. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more people posting on Twitter today about some more leaks. So just kind of keep an eye out for that because, uh, you know, we're getting closer and closer and closer to Friday. So there's going to be more word there. Again, guys, I feel like the Serie A team this season is going to be pretty cheap. And one of the things that's going to, of course, be a big part of that will be the pack code. And I also think today, since we haven't had any pack code yet posted for Serie A, right? No, like Serie A guaranteed TOTS packs. What we're really looking for is like with League One, how we had those player picks in the store or maybe the League One 83 times three. We're looking for stuff like that for the Serie A. I think there is a very high percentage chance today that EA, also they have to add in the Weekend League Rewards packs, right? We see that added usually on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And since it has not been added yet, watch Foot Scoreboard's Twitter today because that might give us some insight on any big packs that might be coming. And we might be talking about tomorrow, the supply for these Serie A cards if we see something in there that looks really, really interesting. So definitely watch out for some of that pack code today. Now, for all the players that have been leaked, We've also got some really good SBC leagues, which is reason number two, um, if there is a reason number two. Reason number one, while I'm excited, is the players and packs. Reason number two, the SBC leaks that we have, it looks like they're dropping some pretty big SBCs, guys, based off of these leaks. First off, we've got a Cordoba Fantasy Foot Hero. You might be like, Nate, this is not the most meta center back in the game, but during Serie A team of the season, these hero links and having a card like this to build out a squad, even with just a couple, if you're going to try to go with a hybrid of like League One and Serie A, that's going to be very, very helpful. Very good card in game. Um, very short and fast, right? Not super tall and, and big like a Van Dyke, but I used base Cordoba buff for a long time this year. He was very, very good. This card, probably going to be a decently cheap SBC, I would hope, somewhere around like 300,000 coins. That could be a nice SBC there. Again, very easy to link. And we go to a big name SBC in Lukaku, right? That is going to be an SBC that a lot of people would have interest in just because it is Lukaku, kind of a FIFA legend in terms of where he's been in FIFA, all the crazy cards he's had before. He had a really crazy card a couple years ago. Uh, what was it like? It was like Summer Stars Lukaku. Uh, that was a really, really cracked out card. So hopefully this Lukaku's got a five-star weak foot boost like his highest rated inform does on this game. Maybe some four-star skills. If they made him like five-star skills too, that would be ridiculous. But these are some really big name SBCs, right? With that Cordoba and Lukaku. I'm pretty excited for that. And there's some really interesting objectives in here. Looks like the foot draft game mode is going to be elevated once again. Roll Magnolia is going to be a reward for some sort of foot draft objective with some packs and XP. And then also Loriente, right? Well known for his fantasy foot card earlier on this year for the pace that this man has. And of course, the France links as well. Uh, sounds like he is going to be a pure objective player, kind of like Treori was for League One team of the season this past week. So those are kind of leaks that we have right there. Now, a couple of other Serie A related leaks for SBCs. These might be upcoming in the future. This is why we do not believe it is Correa on the loading screen, guys, because he is one of the leaks for the Inter versus Manchester City showdown for the UCL final. We've got Phil Foden and Correa. Of course, yesterday with the Europa League final and Sevilla and the upgrade going to be coming to um, 
those cards here pretty soon. Montiel and the Lamella Road to the Final Cards. We've got another showdown on tap. This one's not going to be the first one that comes out, though. We're going to have another one upcoming featuring another Serie A card. Serie A teams in all three finals here. Pretty crazy. Ikone and Paqueta. That's a nice one. I'd be really, really happy to see if they juice these cards very nicely. But this game is coming, I believe it's on the 7th. Uh, of June, so it's coming. It, it was a week from yesterday, so it's six days from now. Next Wednesday, the Conference League showdown um, with Ikone and Paqueta. Nice cards there. Of course, if they drop an Ikone after they've already dropped a Loriente objective, that's a little bit interesting. But with all that content upcoming, looks like some pretty decent stuff is coming, especially that Lukaku SBC, that Cordoba. I'm excited for that because at least it's going to be some pretty nice SBC players and linkability with the Serie A cards like we mentioned. Now let's talk about Serie A special cards because I know a lot of you guys are maybe invested in that and hoping for those cards to keep rising. I think the content this week and how cheap the League One Tots uh, cards are, like I'm looking at this Rudy Voler card. He was 240 earlier this week and after the guarantee yesterday and just kind of the way the market is looking right now, he is back down to 208. Now I've been buying this card at like 205. I still think he is pretty low, but if I take a look at some of the other Serie A special cards, some of them are just at the same price or maybe even a little bit down. Lucio was under 100,000 coins, um, which is very, very low for him. And you can see right here that this is somebody mass listing their investments. Like, look at all these zero games played. This is a really dumb move uh, right there for somebody who's trying to get out of their investment. They're literally just flooding the entire market with pages of them at 100K. That's an investment 101, how to not list your cards on the market. But, um, you know, I think some of these cards are still a little bit low. I think with more leaks today, Foot Sheriff posting cards, probably leaking some of those today, probably an updated loading screen and the Syria objectives that will be in the objective section. I would I would keep holding on a lot of those low tier Syria specials, especially if it is low tier. Like we're talking 20, 30 K. Those guys like Adina Talev, I bought him for 50,000 coins. That's even a little bit of a mid tier card, but I still have like a Moise Keen that I got a 16 K. Tomori, I got one at 29. Those are the types of players I would probably still hold on to because if we do get the cup on Friday, those guys still have a lot of room to rise just because they are so cheap. And of course, people will be in demand for that cup. Now, if we don't get the cup on Friday, we'll, you know, kind of deal with that then. We'll talk about that a bit more in tomorrow's video as well. But for Serie A specials, I'm still holding and hoping for that hype to build a little bit more as some of those card prices have dropped down a little bit. Now, let's take a look at today, Thursday, right? It starts today with Serie A team of the season. We've got the new objectives that are going to be coming. Of course, every Thursday, we get a brand new set of the objectives for the day before the new team of the season cards come out. If you have not finished League One Todd Swaps, you've got over a day still to do that. These will go away on Friday at the content time. They won't go away today. I've got to do foot moments. Uh, but today on, on uh, Thursday, as always, we'll get a little bit of a sneak peek into anything that's different about Serie A and the XP and the swaps upcoming. Now, what's really interesting is this is the last week to get XP, guys. The last week because the season ends a week from today. We are seven days away from Division Rivals Rewards today on Thursday from the season ending. This whole season progress ending as well. So, like, right now I'm 12K XP away from Rooney. I got to get grinding. I got to make sure I get a couple of these done. I got to get the foot champs done. Got to do silver stars. I will have enough for sure. Um, I got to finish off the moments as well, as I mentioned, but make sure you're keeping track because today is a really big day to see what our last set of objectives are going to be to try to get towards that level 30 if you're not quite there yet. Some people have been saying, could it be a double XP week? It'd be nice if it was double XP. I'm not expecting it, but there, I guess, is potential for that. But other than those objectives today and probably a marquee matchups that would fall inside of that objective set, probably going to be a quieter Thursday. I know that um, either last week or two weeks ago, Thursday was kind of popping with content. But I think today feels more like a quieter Thursday. Really what it is, is the last day to stock up on these League One premium upgrades, 80 plus player picks. If you're trying to pack any of the big boy blues from League One team of the season, if you're trying to craft SBCs, um, that's kind of what today really is. I'm not expecting too much else. There is an outside shot for Eusebio Icon SBC today. That's been a leak that's been floating around. Haven't seen the card yet. So that is a shout as well. If you have Eusebio or if you have interest in doing that SBC, I mean, there is potential for that today as well. I don't think there will be anything else out there that we could really see. Um, there are a couple other of leaks, but it just seems like it might be stuff 
that is still in the future. So just be careful with that Eusebio today, but that's probably uh, just going to be the content for today on Thursday. Now, League One Team of Season cards, let's end off the video talking about these a little bit. Like I said, and as you maybe saw on the transfer list, we talked about it yesterday, I picked up some Lacazette's around 1.53. He's now up to about 1.7 mil. I bought Benetters when he was low. I bought Jonathan David when he was low. Um, these cards, guys, are... They're kind of up, except for the lower tier. They're kind of down. Now, some of these guys were really, really low around the um, drop of the guarantee yesterday. Medina was like 89K, went all the way down to 76, and is back to 94, 95. Now, I will say this. Wednesdays, or sorry, Thursdays, we've all got, we always got marquee matchups, right? And that brings some supply to the game. Some of the middle of the low tier guys, Samba, Andre, Cabela, Toribo, Fofana, Klaus, you know, those guys may be supplied a little bit today from the marquee matchups packs, but it shouldn't be that crazy. Um, and there's a lot of demand right now as well because everybody's playing all their games they can potentially play for the qualifiers mode, especially to get that extra packs, the XP, and the objective. Like EA is really asking people to play uh, 10 games of champs qualifiers, um, you know, this week with that objective being there. So that's going to be a lot of gameplay demand, I think, for today, which is why I'm holding on the, to the Ben Yetter. I'm holding on to the Jonathan Davids that I bought because these guys, as I look at it too, League One is always one of the most hyped TOTS teams. And, you know, I'm not saying these guys are going to explode today by any means in price, but I feel like there's a really good potential for these guys to keep going, even maybe into tomorrow with Serie A team this season on Friday. Um, these guys could be in for a nice rise after content, maybe a quick dip and then a rise as people start their weekend league, because these are probably going to be more in demand still than maybe some of the new Serie A TOTS cards, unless we have crazy content tomorrow. So I'll probably look to offload maybe a Lacazette, David, Ben Yedder, um, at some point today on Thursday, maybe tomorrow morning on Friday, if it looks right, if the prices are good. Um, but I think these cards should do pretty well and continue to rise a bit. Now, the lower tier ones, you'd be a little more careful about, but the middle, the high tier, should be pretty solid. We'll see more, hopefully, leagues and get more news today about what Serie A team this season might look like. But I'm excited for this last week of Serie A Tots. Of course, next week, with uh, Ultimate Team of the Season coming, that's really going to be a big talking point in the latter part of this next week. But Serie A Tots is first, and if that's your favorite league, you're really, really excited. The wait has been a long time, but it is almost here, guys. Let me know in the comments who you would like to see in Serie A Team of the Season, what you might be really excited for with that. And, uh, oh, last thing is 66 Tots on the Tots counter. If you weren't in the stream yesterday, we did get insanely lucky. This is not one of the Benetters that I bought. Uh, I did pack the rat second year in a row it was the first guaranteed tots pack that we opened i don't know how i got lucky and got ben Yenner, but uh i mentioned that earlier in the video man i'm just flexing all over the place right now anyways um this is the team i'm working with at the moment to play a little bit of qualities and just try out some new cards in the squad Yetter's decent, but gameplay was horrible yesterday, so I need to give these guys another proper run out. Uh, also, I got Nuno Menge and Medina in my 11 win red, so nothing crazy there, but still happy with the Ben Yetter, happy with the Marquinhos, hoping there's a bit more, still building upgrade packs, and we're going to do one final send today on Thursday in the stream. So check out that link it's down below, but comment down below who you got in that pack yesterday. If you liked the video, drop a thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count, and see you guys in the stream today. Peace out.